Hi everybody, Dr. Darius Tagal, Express Chiropractic, bringing you another Express Health Tip. In this video, we're going to talk about getting out of bed in the morning and a few stretches that you can do that your body, and especially your low back, will love you for. Keep in mind that when you sleep at night, for the most part, most people are laying down and you're not moving a whole lot. Because of that, your blood pools a little bit, and so you don't get as much oxygen into your muscles. You're not carrying as much of the waste products out of the, the, the muscles because your body is using that sleep time, which is very important for those of you who are not getting enough sleep at night. Your body uses that as sleep time to do a lot of healing, a lot of rebuilding within the organs, a lot of cleansing of the organs. So that's very important. But when you wake up and you're ready to hit the floor running for your day, what you need to consider is that your muscles have been resting, they've been dormant for the most part all night, and especially those postural muscles that are gonna hold you while you get up. So rather than just jumping out of bed and starting your day and putting a bunch of pressure on those muscles, which as many people watching this video have found out firsthand, can result in those muscles straining and result in back pain, it is instead what you wanna do is Give those muscles a little bit of warm-up time. It doesn't take very long. It'll, it will can significantly lower your chances that you're going to strain a muscle or push something out of position in your low back when you, when you roll out and climb out too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down on my back just as if I was waking up and show you these quick stretches so that you can start doing them when you open your eyes in the morning. Here I am sleeping on my back like all good express followers should. And so here I am and I'm going to, I woke up and realized that I'm alive another day and I'm very happy about that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this knee towards the same shoulder. Don't have to pull it hard, just a nice gentle pull. We relax it, we pull the other knee and we're just stretching the back of our hip. And really, what we're also doing is just getting the blood flowing again in the lower, lower torso and lower extremities. Now we can grab the other knee again and let's pull it towards the opposite shoulder. And you're just holding these stretches for about five seconds, 10 seconds if you have the time. And so we're going to the other side. About a nice five second to 10 second hold. If you have time, there's one other stretch you can do, and it's a hamstring. So grab behind your knee, and now straighten it up like this. And that's going to get a little bit more behind the knee and not so much in the hips. Then you would do the other leg as well. The last one you're going to do is just bend your knees, and you're going to tighten your abdominal muscles, and you're going to flatten your low back into the mattress. If you're not sure if you're doing it correctly, simply slide your hand under your own low back and press the low back into your hand and you should feel it pressing on the back of your hand as you tighten these abdominal muscles and rotate your hips this way. Again, hold that five seconds, do that, go through that cycle three times before you get out of bed, and if you don't have time for that or you just can't be that patient, even going through it one time is going to significantly lower the chances that you're going to strain a muscle when you get out of bed. And then when you get up, simply roll under your side to the edge of the mattress, swing your legs off, here's my pushing hand, and we're going to go here, and we bring the other arm into it, and now, we're upright and we're ready to get the day started. We can stand up, put that pressure onto our, our spine and put that pressure onto the muscles and they're going to function a lot better because you gave a little bit of time for, to get more oxygen into the muscles, get the blood flowing to the muscle cells so that they can get all the nutrients that they need from that blood and carry the waste products out. Okay, give that a try. Dr. Darren, over and out.